Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and the people today I'm going to show you how to make a picture gallery in flash without using any action script at all and uh, using just masking in flash. Masking can be um, seriously advantageous as we'll see in this example. Uh, have a look out here. This is the flower file using uh, Adobe Flash CS6. This is the resulting swift file you can see the size is 776 kb and these were the four pictures that were used on the timeline let me double click the swift file and show you what we have made <coughs> sorry so you can see that uh, we go from the first to the second, second to the third, third to the fourth picture and then go back to the first picture and this goes on in an endless loop. And uh, creating this gallery isn't too difficult. And as I said earlier, this people is the flower file. Okay. So as I said, we, are, we haven't used any action script at all, which means that uh, it shouldn't be too difficult, right? <coughs> indeed it isn't and uh, let me show you how this was done from scratch so let me say a file in a new uh, I'm gonna I'll, you know make the width 588 uh, and the height 441 because this size matches the size of the four pictures used they all are 588 441 in width and height respectively right okay uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a mask let me save the file first let's just save let me call it gallery with mask okay uh, next I'm gonna hit the rectangle tool let me draw out a rectangle of any color any size <coughs> let me select the rectangle like this after which I'm going to make sure that it matches the size of the stage. So I'm going to click out here and I'm going to click on this icon. It will make sure that the, uh, you know, it matches exactly the stage size, which is 588, 441. Also, I'm going to click on this icon and this icon. So it's perfectly um, on the stage. It's not out of the stage at all. Perfectly aligned to the stage. Right. Next, people, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say convert to symbol let me give it a name of mask and show that it's a movie clip the registration point is top left let me say ok let me double click to enter the edit mode right let me go to the 50th frame right click and say insert keyframe let me go to the 40th frame right click and say insert keyframe right and on the 50th frame let me make sure the width let me first lock the symbol up so that the width and height uh, heights move together let me make the width 1 that will automatically ensure that the height becomes 1 as well right and then between the 40th and the 50th frame I'm going to right click I'm going to say create shape tween and you see the result now okay it's vanishing to the registration point <coughs> right so let me come off the edit mode back onto the main timeline so people this is the mask that we will be using again and again and again right let me call it mask okay in the library you can see it's been called mask now what i need to do is let me first save the file up let's say save and uh, i need to get the four pictures in question so file import import to the library let me select all these four pictures i can do so pressing the shift key let me click on open all the four pictures are in the library now all right <coughs> next people what i'll do is i'll click on the mask layer i'm gonna say copy layer i'm gonna insert one more layer let me make sure the layer is below the mask layer okay let me call it food one and then let me pull up the 
first picture. Let me lock the mass layer and make it invisible. Let me get the food one JPG inside. Let me align it perfectly onto the stage. Align to the top edge and the left edge. Right, making sure that this option should be checked on. Okay. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is let me say paste layers now when i say paste layers people you can see that one more mask layer is inserted let me ensure that uh, it comes after the food one layer okay and uh, then i'm gonna insert one more layer below the make sure i'm gonna drag it below the mask layer okay and this one i'm gonna call it food two okay insert the other picture in like this align it to the stage like this let me make the layers locked and invisible okay <coughs> next uh, let me say paste layer that will get the mask layer in let me drag it down okay then let me insert one more layer let me drag it down below the mask layer let me call this food 3 and let me get the third picture in like this let me align it perfectly to the stage right okay then I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say um, paste layer I'm gonna insert one more layer okay I'm gonna make sure that this layer comes here at the bottom I'm gonna drag it down and this layer here mass layer is always going to be above the pictures layer okay and uh, this I'm gonna call food for right so on the food for layer let me make it invisible let me lock it as well on the food for layer let me pull out the last picture align it to the stage like so right and uh, now all the four masks and the, all the four layers are on the uh, timeline and in the end I'm gonna insert one more layer make sure it's the last layer sitting at, in the you know sitting at the bottom and I'm gonna call it food one so I'm gonna bring the first layer once again okay get the food one picture out food one JPG align it to the stage like so right <coughs> right now I can make all the layers visible and unlock them as well fine now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the 50th frame like this and I'm gonna just drag like so and then uh, create a vertical blue bar which is highlighted let me right click and I'm gonna say insert a frame cool after which uh, please notice carefully as I go on select the first and the second layer the mask and food one layer and do nothing right then select the mask and food two layer uh, I'm gonna drag it from here and drop it at the 40th frame is it the 40th frame yes it is okay 10 frames before the uh, you know these two frames end. they they ended the 50th frame so I'm dropping uh, you know the other two layers 10 frames just before the 50th so at the 40th frame okay likewise I'm gonna select these two layers click out here and then drag it till I actually reach the 80th layer so that's 10 frames before this right make sure it's the 80th layer okay similarly I'm gonna select these two layers pressing the shift key then click out here and drag and then drop it at the 120th layer right just want to be sure it's the 120th yes you can see out here the 120th layer <coughs> cool and in the end uh, what we are left with is the food one layer 
I'm gonna click out here to highlight the layer. I'm gonna drag it and then I'm gonna drop it at the hundred and sixtieth frame. Okay, let me be sure. Yes, it is the hundred and sixtieth frame. But then this bit is extra starting frame number 170 till the end. So I'm gonna highlight it like this. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say remove frames right okay after which people wherever you see the word mask you, you're gonna just right click and you're gonna say mask so I'm masking the pictures with the the mass right click say mask right click say mask right click say mask and I'm actually done let me hit control enter to show you what I've accomplished that's the second picture third one fourth one back to the first second third fourth but since uh, I feel that uh, the slideshow is advancing a little too fast I can drop the frame rate let's say from a 24 to a 16 and hit control enter and you'll see that it'll go a little slower now second third fourth and should go back to the first one <coughs> so people you see how easy it is uh, to create a picture gallery that's convincing as well without using action script using uh, just masking all right so mask is actually the shape of the structure through which you can see the picture if it's it's a bigger shape you see the you, the, the complete picture if it's a smaller shape you see only the partial picture that's how masking works so people I hope uh, you learned something from this tutorial and I hope to see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial you have a good day people bye bye peace